As she just mentioned, this is definitely rare for the Rio Grande in Albuquerque. Chief Meteorologist Mark Ronchetti continues our team coverage tonight with an explanation of why it's happening. I tell you what, Jess, it's been very interesting. A ton of rain over the Jemez over the past few days is one of the factors we're looking at here. In Los Alamos, over the past four days, we've had more than six inches of rain. In White Rock, almost five inches. This is what it looked like earlier today in the Bandelier National Monument. Obviously, they shut down part of these areas because you end up with a lot of these flows heading off the hillsides through burn scars and causing major league issues. Well, what we're seeing tonight and we've seen over the past day or so is all that rainwater washing through the canyons, washing through some of these old flood zones and down into the Rio Grande. Now, in most cases, you'd hope that Cochiti Lake would catch some of this, but a lot of it is skirted around Cochiti Lake and gone back into the Rio Grande. And then you add to that factor that from the east, the Rio Galisteo was swollen. That is pushing into the Rio Grande as well. And we're taking all this water, plus what we've got here in the city, and dumping it along the channel of the river. And so you see the river levels rising significantly. And we'll watch those very closely for tonight. And we are still dealing with rain across the area here. Flood warnings continue here in the Central Valley simply because of the Rio Grande. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. Flash flood watches across a good portion of the state from the northern state line all the way down to south central sections of the state. Looking at the radar at this point, what we've got is a little fetch of moisture out to the west. A lot of this is approaching the metro, so we may well see some more scattered showers tonight in the metro area. We're definitely seeing some in west central areas. Out to the east, things are starting to die down, so this is the area of concern. Now, as we head through the next couple of days, we have some different issues. The overall scope of this is going to start to shrink. However, there are a couple of other major concerns that we need to keep an eye on across the state and here in the metro. I'll have details on that in your full forecast.